All right, so three new stages for Tower of Trials have released. And uh, these three stages are a bit gimmicky, a bit hard. So um, let's start uh, getting to it. So stage 16, the gimmick is very simple. Uh, if you have, I think, five buffs on your characters, you get a massive stat boost. So either run Red Arthur or Margaret. If you do have Margaret, I would... I would say use Margaret for sure, but you can do this with Red Arthur. I did do it with, do it with Red Arthur personally. Then run a Gaffer, either red or green, and then a good DPS. I'm running King. He could be the new trailer Meliodas. Just a good DPS in general that is also AOE would be my advice. Uh, and then the back doesn't matter. Uh, just, I, um, you can put red, red Liz here if you're not confident on your damage. The important thing is that you need to you know restart the stage until you get a level 3 Arthur card. So, for me, legitimately took me a uh, two stamina pots when I did the first time. Okay, now I get <laughs> the first attempt, thank god. But for me, it legitimately took two stamina pots and it only cost 10 stamina. Uh, I, I, just wasn't, I just wasn't getting it. I just wasn't getting it. So, you can be very, like, very unlucky here uh, with it. But yeah, you get a massive stat boost from having... I don't know if it is specifically having a stat buff buff. and But it has to be level 3. So it definitely isn't just like a stat buff. But yeah. So rank up R for... I'm just going to attack anyone. And then level 3. And you get this massive stat boost. Again, it doesn't work with Margaret. And I think with Margaret is better. So if you have Margaret, I would... Tell you to use her because you get the damage boost as well. So it is much better. Yeah, you can see he's already doing less damage. I mean, I am I do have uh, my defense increased with Arthur anyways, but like... They're already doing less damage, like 800 damage right there. Type disadvantage. And I'll open up my characters here. I think it's four buffs then. Because uh, Arthur has... Uh, yeah. Let's see, 264k attack. Um, let's rank up King and do a level 3. Might as well. Again, you could just bring, I don't know, I think Trader Melly if you don't have King. Or just a good AoE in general. So you can just do this. Just 10 million. And again, with Margaret, I'll be hitting harder. So You have those two options right there. Alright, so we're stage 17, and this could be a very hard one, especially if you just don't have characters for it, uh, is uh, <laughs> you have to use counter characters. Uh, so you just bring up as many counter characters as you can. I could have actually brought up uh, Green Sario, but make sure that you have three counter characters, because the, the gimmick is that you need to have two counter cards up at the same time, and then you will get a stat buff for everyone. So, if you don't have two stance cards at the same time, or two, two counter cards, they have to be counter cards, uh, then it, like you don't get it. If it's just one counter card, nothing happens. So it has to be two counter cards, three counter cards, not necessary. You're overdoing it. You need exactly two counter cards. You can use three, I guess, but I have two taunty in it, so it's kind of pointless. So I'd recommend, um, if you don't have... Uh, Terry, which is a massive help. Uh, bring up either f Blue Fat King, <laughs> uh, Green Hauser, or like maybe like Counter Melly. Um, I would say like characters that don't have Taunt would actually be quite decent. And then, um, uh, let's think here. I guess I'll do this. Make sure that we kill that one. And then, um, if you have Green Sario, I'll say bring Green Sario. He's probably phenomenal for it. Um, but yeah, th this stage can be quite hard if you don't have, especially if you don't have Terry. Um, but as long as you have two counter cards, you have this the thing up. You could bring only two counter characters, but if you get unlucky with your cards, you're gonna get cut. Like right here, I got super lucky. You can see I got like multiple counter cards here, right? But if you just get very unlucky with your cards, you can struggle here for sure. So, um,. I'm seeing here, she has max ultimate gauge. Her ultimate, this is perfect actually to show this. Her ultimate um, takes off stances, right? So it would be best 
for a turn like this, you actually have three counters. Thankfully, we do. So we can actually do this. So I'll, I'll put up one counter. Um, two counters, three counters. Because she's going to remove one of them. Right? With her ultimate. So that if one of them gets removed, you still have two up. And I, I have to kill here, or else I'm, I lost. Because <laughs> uh, I don't have two counters for next turn. If you don't have true counter, this stage is hard. Like, I am, like, beating this, like, seemingly easily, but trust me. Especially if you don't have Terry, this stage is hard. Um, but again, all that you need is to have true counters up, and your characters will be absolutely devastating this stage. I should have shown the stat buff. That's my, my bad. Just, I guess you're gonna have to trust me. <laughs> but th this is the gimmick. Having true counters up... And um, and you're gonna have the, the the massive stab buff and stuff like that. It's just very difficult to show because uh, my my counters only last one turn, right? And then I put up a counter, and then next turn I don't have the counter up anymore, so I can't show the stab buff. But yeah, that's the gimmick. So for stage 18, I until today had no idea what the gimmick was because i tried like i was trying to find it i couldn't find it i just brutal forced my way through it but the stage is very very hard without doing the gimmick uh, and i watched like every single youtuber's video on it to, to see if someone else had found the gimmick no one knew everyone just also brutal forced their way through the stage including the japanese youtubers that sometimes i steal information from uh <laughs> no one knew uh but i actually asked on my melascula uh, patch note video if anyone knew what the gimmick was in this absolute beast of a human being he told me stage eight you need characters who de-rank cards like blue merlin and you get massive stab boosts i tried and it works uh, more specifically you need this effect right here decreases kill ranks it cannot be like galfer which decreases kill ranks like in the following turn or um um, I guess it's the only character that does that, right? Uh, no, doesn't... Doesn't Red Easton also do that? Uh, but yeah, it, it can't be like a debuff. It has to be like Merlin, or, um, if you want Grand Cross Database, you go on uh, characters, you go uh, skill filter, and put decreases kill ranks. Um, I sorted out here, so these are the characters that I would recommend using. So Blue Merlin, uh, this Ally Hawk if you have her, Elaine has a decreased skill rank card. Uh, this Nunchuck Bond has a decreased skill rank card. The moment you decrease the skill rank, that character gets a massive stab boost. And for what I've done, it doesn't seem like, um, like it goes away. This Liz decreases skill ranks. So uh, there's a few options uh, that you can use. Obviously, uh, these are characters that aren't very good, <laughs> but uh, I would say I would recommend loading up a three stack of these characters because uh, it only it only gives the stat boost to that character. It doesn't give it to like the whole team. And I'm telling you, if you don't do the gimmick, this stage is hard. Like it, I, again, I did beat it without doing it. But you know, <laughs> I loaded it up. I, I, th I think I did. Like, it was um, Green Alfred King and uh, and Meliodas, and I just brutal force. Like by the end, like two of my characters were dead. I just killed because I have a 6-6 ultimate. Like, that, that's how hard the stage is with all the gimmick. You can see already how much damage they do to me, right? I'm using the healing card set, which is un unnecessary. I'm just doing it because I can. Uh, but yeah, use the, the the decrease skill rank. You don't actually have to decrease their skill ranks. Um, like, you can see, I'm going to do this and, um, you know, by the end, Merlin obviously wouldn't be able to decrease any skill ranks because everyone's skill ranks are already decreased, but it doesn't matter. So long as you use the skill, you get the massive stab boost. So. I think. <laughs> I think. I'm, I'm almost certain. So, yeah. I'm still taking a lot of damage with the stab boost. You know? Like, it's not like... Um, I'm a god invincible now. The stage is still... Somewhat difficult. So did Merlin actually get a stat boost? I actually need to confirm this. She did- okay, you do need to de- okay, I'm incorrect there. <laughs> but here, here, so she got the stat boost. You do need to de-rank cards. Okay, I didn't know that. Alright, so uh, beware. <laughs> you do actually still need 
to de-rank their cards to get the stat boost. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Because I did a run with um, with uh, this team earlier, and I did triple attack like that, and I did get, I guess one of them had like a level 3 card, right? That might have been why. I didn't know, okay, thank you, got the Merlin AoE. Merlin's gonna take massive damage here, like, look how much damage Merlin took. If I didn't have the healing cards, I should be dead. Like, straight up. Yeah, so si single target D-ranks um, are also a good idea. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the kill on this level 3 here. On this, um... With, with this level 3 here. Try to get a kill on this, uh, this blue guy. Yeah, I guess one of them had a level 3, that's why I got it that time. You see, I got like a 65k heal. I should have checked my, um... My related stats, I forgot to do that. Merlin didn't get... Can I only get two characters buffed? Wait. I might be only able to get two characters buffed. Because Merlin clearly deranked a card there. Wow, this stage is something else. It really is. This stage is something else. 82k. Am I getting stats every time I derank a card? I think I am. I think I am. Um, let's do this. My, my, my guy there is dead. I think I am getting stats every time I derank a card. This is not going to debuff. They are immune to debuffs. Yeah, this, this stage is rough, but again... I'm so confused on why Merlin died, honestly. I, I'm guessing I could only have two characters, and I just didn't notice that beforehand. When I was doing it the first time, with uh, with this build. I don't know how I didn't notice, to be honest. Um, can't derank any cards. I just didn't have any cards to derank? I am so confused. Um, I want to guarantee my kill. On the guy on the left there. Because he's most likely to kill you. She healed for 85k. <laughs> oh, I forgot to check the substats. I'm guessing I'm getting substats as well, because my healing is absurd. <laughs> oh my god, Donashi. Uh, let me see the substats. Make sure to see the the list because it seems like I, I've been ranking up more cards for her. No, I'm not getting any substats. I guess I'm just doing that much damage. 2.6 million HP. Yeah, I guess she just has high because uh, I have. Um... What do I have? I have something. Um, I guess I'll de rank cards. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep on going. I suppose. I have her ultimate for next turn. She does a type disadvantage, but yeah. That's the gimmick. This, again, this stage is, like, if you don't know the gimmick, like, I, I don't think I, I have to, like, to show you a run without the gimmick. You can see by the damage that Nash is taking. How much damage you take if you don't abide by the gimmick is insane. Uh, let me do rank cards one more time, because again, it seems like I am getting stats every time. Yeah, I'm definitely getting stats. 122 get that. I'm definitely getting stats every time I de rank his card. So I'm getting de rank it first and then ult. Oh, that was not a de rank card. Let's take a false mage. Oh my god. That's fine. Have you ever seen uh, Elaine do 887k with a 4-6 four, uh, four, ultimate? I have a 4-6 Elaine, by the way. I just never pull her. Odd character to not have 6-6 six, six for me. Um, okay. The rank card, then attack. Oh, I should have attacked first with Liz. She would have taken out- Oh, that was not the rank card. I'm getting the cards mixed up for her, but I still killed, so. Alright. Oof. This stage is rough. So, um, yeah. Good luck. I mean, th this stage, again, abide by the gimmicks and you're fine, but this stage is still rough.